I don't uh, really consider anything an obstacle. I think obstacles are only in our minds. So, you know, we look at glass half empty rather than glass half full. And I think I'm a person generally who looks at the positive of everything. One of the difficulties that I faced, trying to be a super mom and a super uh, career woman. And I believe you can't be both all the time. It's not possible. I think it's situational. Uh, you have to learn how to balance it. Uh, so when my daughter was a teenager, I thought a couple of times about quitting my career. It was quite challenging handling both uh, and spending the new time that was, uh, that, that was needed. So yeah, so that would be, I think, a challenge, but I decided to stick the course. So I, I was never a person who had ambitions to be where I am. I didn't have, you know, set out career plan. I never did. And I, I think in many ways I've been very lucky because opportunities have been given to me. But if I were to put down one thing, learning from what I have been through, why perhaps I have been given those opportunities and I haven't been paid them, is because I love what I do. And I'm very passionate about um, the things that I like to do. So my advice to people is find what that is, you know, and if you find what that is, anything you're given to do, you will somehow see that aspect of it, you will see that dimension of it. And if you see that dimension and it drives you, you know, you love it and, you, and success will come. Um, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened of change. Um, because very often we surprise ourselves, we are very capable. Uh, we tend to uh, generally um, underestimate ourselves and we surprise ourselves. So I think if you are given an opportunity that you are excited by, don't be frightened, take it. Take it and you will make it work if you like that. You know? So be brave, be courageous are the two things that I can, you know, be passionate, be brave and courageous in what you believe in. So those are, I think, what I can advise somebody.